Hello, friends and fellow detectives. Okay, so last time we left off, we had just figured out how to get past uh, the angels here and opened up the lock leading down into the vault. So we'll see how that goes. But it was, it was obvious. It was far more obvious than I had uh, was thinking. I, I was too busy looking at the lock. I, it's, I didn't notice the gorilla walking in the background because you zoom in on the lock, but if you, uh, oh, oh, I see. Interesting. If you uh, look above this, uh, which I can't do at the moment, what you find is that uh, it uh, there's a bunch of angels in the stone. So I wish I had no noticed that. I'm gonna guess it's actually I want the one that's. Oh, okay. It's probably I'm gonna guess the. Let's see. Is there an outside ring? Oh, interesting. Because I would have thought like this. Almost. Because that, yeah, that's got to be it. Because that's the one that's lit up, right? Oh, okay. So we'll do, I guess we got to start at the middle. Oop. There we go. Got it. Some days you just feel super smart. Jenny studied the stone discs, how perfect, now perfectly aligned. It's the face of a badger. That's unusual. Oh yeah, it is. See, above the lock, there's all the angels pointing in directions. And now the last sword comes into position. So the answer was staring directly in front of my face. Sometimes it takes a bit. Now we've got a tunnel. Something tells me this isn't a tomb. We walk into the frame. I like how we, we appear in the foreground and then the, the camera pans out. There's piping running everywhere and one of these things. If the huge coiling wires hadn't made it clear, the hulking metallic shell certainly did. This isn't a tunnel. It's an entrance to another laboratory, just like the one in the forest. How many of these are there? The presence of such an unusual and foreign object in Arthurton begged even bigger questions. Who put them here, and for what purpose? It seemed to Jenny as if the graveyard itself had been built around the sphere, a perfect hiding place. If something this conspicuous could be so easily concealed, what else is Arthurton hiding? Okay, in we go. Push a button, let's see if we can start some lights. gonna get the locks yeah the door is gonna close get some hissing zoom out everything's hermetically sealed I thought we were gonna find ourselves in the company of the uh, the trench coat dude well at least we know it's working a dozen intricate machines word to life Jenny noticed a remarkable resemblance she had overlooked before some of this equipment looks like the stuff in Susie's lab. I can't believe I missed it before. That girl owes me some answers. It's like the Tim. Examine the radio. Are we going to do this again? Another radio. Maybe these are used to communicate between laboratories. It was a hunch, but if it were true, whoever's transmitting the message could be in another sphere somewhere in town. Okay, so... Let's... So this is modulating the blue and red ones. And if I remember correctly, we have to get the polarity. There we go. Get the gain. And the tracking down. Close. Oh, and the... Let's see. Can we line it right up? Seems pretty close. The frequency. There we go. Oh, okay. We're like super close. It's the same voice as before. Bear 39, Wolf 24, Sheep 40, Rabbit Go. This code was different from the last. 
Just as strange, though. Jenny carefully transcribed the words into her journal. Let's see what the hawk and the weasel have to say about this. Okay. So, bear, 39. Um, purge. Rabbit, 60. Um... Um, bear 34 and rabbit 17. And then rabbit 17. Okay, so the next one should be Hawk and the Weasel. Weasel 56. Silenced. Uh, Weasel Hawk 41. despair um okay wolf and the sheep wolf 24 death uh sheep 40 soon sheep 66 forever oh that's weird that it didn't uh oh infected Goose 21. Where are we here? <clears throat> Herself. Purge infected. Soon only death. Forever silence. Despair herself is only? What? De oh, despair herself is near. This message, as sinister as allows, sent Jenny's analytical mind into overdrive. Is the man in black sending these messages? Purge infected. Forever silenced. Could that have something to do with Dean Strasbury? It can't be a coincidence that I found a copy of the same book by the Dean's corpse. But how are they connected? Soon only death. Despair herself is near. And now they're coming for Mum. What does she know that they're willing to kill her for? Okay. Let's go down and see what's going on in here. There must be another clue. This contraption was new to Jenny, but something about it caught her eye. There's a weaselly face in the middle. A large metal slab with a distinctive indentation carved into its surface, just like the ring. That shape, where have I seen it before? The Dean's ring. I'm gonna punch the ring in there. So we'll uh, do the same thing we did last time. I thought this is how we did it. This way. Oh, no. Okay. No. This. Okay. So this, this, this. I don't know why we had to turn it that way this time. I think we did it different before, didn't we? All right, so now we're gonna punch the ring in there. It fits. In fact, it fit perfectly into the slot as though it were made for it. Okay. What else we got going on here? Boop. Doesn't seem to be working. Probably just a loose connection somewhere. All right, what do we got going on here? Panel, let's, let's remove some screws. All right, we don't have to break this one. Same deal, another wire puzzle. Jenny knew that the best way to fix anything electronic was to mess around with it till all the lights come on. See, it's interesting is that one gives you a clue, right? That's in interesting. So the question is gonna be is which way do we want to go with these? Huh. And do we want the lights on on all of them? Is that the idea? Okay, there we go. Well, that seems 
pretty good. It, if being a great detective didn't work out, Jenny had a promising career in machine repair to fall back on. Wouldn't go that far. Okay, now we'll try it. Something's coming to life here. It is a crystal of some kind. What is it going to do to the ring? It's changing colors. The end is glowing red. I feel like it's going to blast a laser or something. It just broke. I could have lost an eye. The machine's true application would remain a mystery for now. But wherever its purpose, the implications were overwhelming. Dean Strasbury is somehow connected to this place. Had the Dean been aware of the secret hiding within his ring? Whether he knew it or not, it's likely he was killed because of it. We'll take that. And let's go down and check out this other machine here. Please enter authorization code to begin. One, two, three, four. Incorrect code. Of course it is. That would have been too easy. Please enter authorization code. One, two, three, four. Okay, well, why would we do that twice? Okay. So, she needs to find out about some more numbers in order for us to really get going, I guess, on that. Okay, and then we can come down here. Okay, that's not... So nothing's opening. So we're going to have to... There's something we got to do here. Hmm. Now, is there a clue somewhere in here that we're not now seeing? I mean, up to this point, they've uh, informed us when there's, you know, useful clues around. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. Look under the cable. Hidden amongst a web of cables, the average eye would have missed it, but Jenny LeClue was a great detective. There's a book pinned between, beneath that cable. What do we got? Confidential. Confidential. The word was music to Jenny's ears. Inspect. Uh, let's zoom in on this. So, it's got some numbers here. SL7346, manufacturer number 022582. Confidential. Ooh. Entry 1. A reminder. Laundromat. Buy new underwear. Entry 1. At last, today we began Project Excelsior. Thanks to our wonderful benefactor. Standing inside my lab is exactly as I had hoped. Perfectly concealed. It's a real thing of beauty. I call it the Zazzer Sphere. Jenny recognized the name, but couldn't put her finger on where she'd heard it before. So this lab is his invention? He called the Zazzer Sphere? Well, at least I've, I've got a name. Nigel thinks it's pretentious to name it after myself. But let's see him design a geodesic structure that can withstand such incredible external forces. Whatever we call it, we'll finally be able to study and harness the power of Arthurton's greatest resource. These machines were built to study and harness the power of Arthurton's greatest resource? They were experimenting on the town itself? Who are the Council of Three? The Council of Three. Never heard of them. Sounds like he didn't know who they were either. But they paid for all of this. Hope the money doesn't dry up. Side note. Nigel keeps mispronouncing my name. I swear he's doing it on purpose. It's Professor Zazer, like laser. Zazer. With a Z. How hard is that? So we've got some formulas on the side. Okay. What do we have over here? Some blank pages? Looks like it. Oh, here we go. Entry 103. Another sphere fully operational. The project continues to grow. Every time we start an experiment, we discover a new property to examine, each result further supporting my theories. This town is special. Like I said, I find my time largely spent moving between laboratories. I'm tired of managing. I want to get my hands dirty. So on the... on the, Oh, the irony. He's got a Ferris wheel. So it's something to do with iron. He's got some, like, waves. Some sine waves or something. Asking around. Asked around. No one has met them. Who are they? Said the group of three. Ask Mr. Gray again for face to pay face to, with management. Are they avoiding me? He's starting to wonder if they even exist. Maximum rate. Entry four. 
New lab idea. Toying with designs for a newer, much more ambitious, larger facility. He designed a bigger sphere? Bigger than this? Did he ever build it? 400 feet? 400 feet tall. 30, 43% bigger, I guess. If my calculations are correct, it should be capable of 1,200% output capacity. This could propel us to a whole new world of possibility. Okay. Okay, so now we've got uh, entry 288. Terrible setback. Spotted an anomaly in the Badger experiment till it, too late. There was a Badger on the door to get into this lab. So this must be the experiment he was talking about. Of course, Mr. Gray and Mr. Blue showed up just in time to witness the explosion explosion plasma everywhere all units lost mr blue lo nearly lost an eye not looking forward to debriefing on friday this is going to set us back weeks entry 289 days blurring together every experiment brings us closer to unlocking the seemingly impossible but the number of strange incidents at the lab continue to grow so some math who keeps stealing my pens <laughs> some tic-tac-toe happening entry 297 more setbacks more unwelcome interruptions, exhaustion, rest schedule, dangerous conditions. Why did they insist we run the new test this weekend? It's just not ready. We need to enhance safety protocols and be vigilant to avoid any more conta conta contaminations or accidents. Exhaustion, rest schedule, dangerous conditions? The parallels with their father's own working conditions were distressingly clear. I'm starting to think they aren't in this for the right reasons. Someone followed me home again last night. Ignorance, knowledge, corruption, progress, self-destruction, order, council of three. Who are they? Entry 342. Been sleeping in the lab. Nothing to come home to. What am I doing here? What are we really trying to accomplish? I must believe our personal sacrifices are worthwhile. Scratched out. Serve a greater good. Entry 385. All my fault? Too late. I was so naive. Can't get their faces out of my mind. The screams of darkness. The hole will never be filled. The dead. All my fault. All my fault. All my fault. The dead, all dead, all my fault. The words echoed across the metal walls, ghosts of a past tragedy. What did he do? It must have been terrible. Oh. Last one here. Entry 621. What a bittersweet feeling. After seven years, we're, we're finally getting stable. Repeated, repeatable results. But the cost has been great. The output radio is incredible, but we're only beginning to unlock the potential. In the right hands, this could change the world. This entry is from much later. There are lots of pages missing. It seems that whatever happened before, he carried on his work long after. As is the case in all the tangled mysteries, every new piece of evidence raised more questions than it answered. But she now knew the purpose of the Zazer Sphere and the name of the people who had built it, the Council of Three. It wasn't much to go on, but it was a start. And the last thing says, the new lab is nearly operational, but I'm not sure we are. As always, they'll push it too far, but full output will take years. Perhaps there's still time to make amends for what happened. Safety is top priority. People over progress. What's this? Another blank scrap of paper. Nigel. 10, 2, 8. Please stop writing the code down. Memorize it and destroy this immediately. Zazer. 1028. All right, so now we get into the computer. Please use the code 1028. Code accepted. System authorized for armed inactivation. What's funny is that you couldn't actually get past this point or out of the sphere without finding that, without getting to it, which is an interesting... There's no... Uh, you. It's not a partial completion. You have to get A to get to B. Preparing to run experiment 12, cycle 78. Sphere hermetically sealed. Magnetic transducer coils charging, accumulating voltaic cells. Commencing experiment 1291. <clears throat> Excuse me. I guess to keep this game linear, you have to do that. Otherwise, it's, it becomes a branching tree, and that's a nightmare. But it is funny. Like you, it, it has to be obvious enough to allow you to follow the breadcrumbs. The lights are flickering outside. Now they've gone out. The angel is pointing. Now she's pointing upwards. They're all pointing upwards. One of them just got struck by lightning. Two of them, three of them. A ladder comes down. The ladder we want. Radioactive safety margins cleared. 
Procedure 12 completely successful. Decompressing spherical chamber. Remember, a healthy employee is an effective employee. Please leave the station for your mandatory 15-minute smoking break. What's funny is this idea that, like, nobody was in the park, or they would all would have been, like, incinerated. I wonder what I did. At least it, I wasn't covered in plasma. Okay, let's get on out of here. So we'll go take that ladder and see where that leads to. If anything, I have a suspicion. I remember the map. There's a map that goes from the mines to something else. It looks like a big underground tunnel. That I actually thought this might be some kind of underground tunnel, but we'll see where that goes. Oh, there we go. We can run again. Leave tunnel. Yes, please. Okay, let's go down here and go check it out. So now that, that blast in the wall makes more sense with the plasma must have came crushing it. Jenny, did you find the entrance? Not yet. Jenny was hesitant to share her discovery, but Susie might have vital information. Tell her about the lab equipment. Where did you really get the parts to build your machines? I told you, there's a warehouse full of them at my father's factory. And that's the only place you've seen equipment like that? Well, yeah, where else would, where else would I have seen it? Trust her. Did the Glatz Corporation ever build underground labs? No, I don't think so. Why would they? To hide them? From who? Good question. I have to go. Keep out of sight and let me know if you see anyone. I will. Good luck, Jenny. All right. Let's climb up the ladder and see if we can't get over to where it is we're trying to go here. Oh, yeah. What is all the way up here? So we'll go down here. See if there's anything. Like a sticker. Oh, we picked up a scrap. Another scrap of another thing. Arthurton had said on the corner. So we're going to go past the giant cross. Beyond the fallen angel. This is it. The entrance must be through here. Away she goes. Another coded message in another hidden laboratory. A secret tunnel under the graveyard. How long had these things been in Arthurton? Who was responsible for them? And how was this all connected to the Dean's murder? And that's where we're going to leave off. We're going to find out next time, hopefully. We will see you then. Bye-bye.